Doon sa 21 years as a band, parang ano ang, paano nag ang band culture sa Pilipinas? Or kung baga, ano, ano lang highlight? Nagsumula kami, very competitive yung mga bands before. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, ngayon kasi parang is one, may malalaking family na talagang nagtutulungan. Paano yun? Parang every band for themselves? Ganun ba? Or... Or parang ganun, genre. Ganun, ganun parang kung titignan nyo before, yung machinery to distribute, mm-hmm. label lang eh. So, ah. ilan lang yung label, mm-hmm. lahat yun, mag-aaway-aaway kayo. That's parang true. kunin ka ng label. That's eh true. ngayon, the sky's the limit. Mm-hmm. Internet. Basta really? may laptop ka lang, okay ka na. That's why, kaya to Mikey's point, mas friendly na yung atmosphere. Ah. Ngayon, pero before, hindi naman kami nakikipag-away. I mean, wala well, maaway. It's just, <laughs> mas competitive lang. Pero bago rin maging friends, wala pa masyadong mga prod nun eh. Oh, okay. Wala yeah. rin prod oh, na. Literally, yeah. actually, the, yung bars yung kukuha ng, oh. ng bands. And then, uh, kami may bahalang magbenta ng tickets. Ah. Yun yung, parang ganun. Or to bring the people. Mm-hmm. Ayun kasi, hindi wala na yung Super responsibility band, may, sa... Uh, ano, uh, kailangan uh, yung mag-mental is, may 15, 15, 15, 20. Uh, wala nang responsibility yung bars. Parang natulungan na sila ng mga prods. Uh, kasi, you know, may sarili ng following yung mga prods. Kung baga, hindi na siya kailangan gawin ng bar. Ganun-ish? But, kailangan pa rin minsan. Pero parang mm. lately, with more prods coming, parang mm, natutulungan na rin sila. Mas madali. Tapos yung, yung prods yung nagumagawa ng legwork. Mm-hmm. Kasi and that's yung, what I... Kung, you know, kung baga yung pag-curate dun eh. Oh, yung pag-curate. Oh, okay. okay. Although, may, may mga some nights naman na bars pa rin yung... Yeah. Yung, okay. Parang dati yung pinaka old, oldest prod, parang Sunday grabe Sunday lang eh, di ba? Hmm. So yeah, uh, dati ang labanan kasi to get to get your music out there, you have to be signed by a major label. Hmm. Walang, walang inter walang bandcamp, walang uh-huh. iTunes, walang Spotify. So, kailangan, uh, ka, alam mo yun, mag-distribute ka ng cassette mo sa sa major labels. Tapos, uh, bigyan, uh, sasign ka nila. Kung hindi ka nila isign, harap ka ng ibang uh-huh. major label. As in, walang, walang alternative. Walang DIY. Wala, wala, oh, walang, meron, pero mga hundred k Which, which it were, Eh, ito yun nga, parang one time na nangyari na yung ganun, kami na yung nag-finance ng sarili namin recording. And, and I'm proud to say na one of the first kami na gumawa ng ganun. Mm-hmm. Yun yung time na uh, hindi pa usi yung indie, pero yun nga, parang sige, fight, indie tayo, parang ganun. Mm-hmm. Medyo, ano yun, medyo talon sa cliff yun, ha? Ganun. Okay. <laughs> so, yun. Okay. Yung mahirap. Pero I'm very glad na hindi na ganun ngayon kasi ang daming na nurture na talent. Mm-hmm. Kasi I'm, I'm sure nung 2002 ang daming talented bands dyan na hindi natin alam. Kasi nga walang venue to put their music out there. Walang internet, walang... Kailangan nilang masign. So, sayang. So ngayon, I'm, I'm very glad na hindi na ganun. <laughs>